This video demonstrates the operation of the PT-7. PT-7 is designed for economic manufacturing of half rounds, elliptical, and arch type geometric forms without the use of templates or fixtures. The PT-7 is available with or without thermostatically controlled heat bands to accelerate adhesive curing. The PT-7 demonstrated in this video is equipped with thermostatically controlled heat bands. The machine is comprised of 41 pairs of aluminum form arms mounted on a steel bed. The bed consists of 42 machine steel support rails. The standard bed size is 4 foot deep by 8 foot wide. This allows the machine to fabricate a half round with an internal radius of 4 feet. Larger or smaller sizes are available. The maximum part thickness is 4.5 inches and the maximum part width is 7 inches. The form arms are clamped to the machine bed by a torque nut located on the top of the form arm. Loosening the nut permits the form arms to be easily slid along the steel support rails. A lineal scale is mounted on each of the lineal support rails. The scale is divided into increments of ten thousandths of an inch and is used to reference the location of the form arms. A computer program supplied with the machine calculates the position of the form arms given the part geometry. For a half round part, the part diameter, thickness, straight leg length, and spring back are entered. Additional information such as part number, customer, or other information can be entered but are not required for calculations. The part can be graphically represented on a computer or printed out to the system printer. The program calculates the location of each of the 41 pairs of form arms. For elliptical parts, the geometry is defined in arc sections. Up to nine arc sections can be entered to define the part. Each arc section is defined by its radius and included angle. Spring back can be entered for each arc section. Once a part is entered, a printout is generated which contains the locations for each of the 41 pairs of form arms, as well as the veneer lengths required to manufacture the pot. This printout is used by the operator to set up and prep the machine. The form arms that are not required for a particular setup are merely slid out of the way. The other form arms are set up to the parameters determined by the computer program and printed out on the setup sheet provided to the operator.
Once the forearms are positioned in the correct location, the jam nut is tightened securely using a manual or powered wrench. Firmly locking the forearms to the machine bed and defining the inner surface of the part to be formed. The veneers to be formed are sandwiched between two stainless steel bands. The bands serve to distribute the clamping pressure uniformly along the part. When using heat bands, the bands are laid adjacent to the wood veneers. Once prepared, the package is set on stock positioners. The stock positioners are adjusted to center the part in the machine. Once loaded, the part is clamped to the form arm, starting with the nose bar cylinder. All the cylinders on the machine are provided with a quick disconnect. To actuate the cylinder, an air hose is first connected to the disconnect. The clamp is then positioned over the material and actuated using a built-in three-position valve. Once clamped, the valve is rotated to the neutral position and the air hose removed. The air cylinders will maintain pressure until removed from the machine. After the pot is loaded, the heat bands are plugged into the control box. The control box contains a thermostat and a timer. The thermostat monitors and controls the temperature of the heat bands and the timer controls the duration of the cure cycle. The thermostat and timer are merely set to the desired settings. Typical cure time for pots is approximately 15 to 20 minutes for a 1 inch thick component when using PVA adhesive. Once cured, the component is allowed to cool for several minutes. The curing and cooling times have been edited from the video in order to save time. To unload the part, the rotary valve is rotated to the release position and the clamps removed from the machine.